Mr. Baraka, with this business, me and PP are going to be millionaires. That is what Mr. Matano said. The easiest way out of poverty is self-employment and thinking. Me here, I'm self-employment. And PP there is a street of thinking. <laughs> you boys are doing very well. And this name here, Pip Speedy. I think it's, well, original. Yeah, that was my Speedy's idea. Pipi, come get this milk in there. Hey, my Speedy, you're not my boss. We're partners. I've not said I'm anybody's boss. Whatever. We don't need fresh milk in any case. We have what we bought yesterday. Come on, Pipi, come and get this milk in there. We might get more customers than we expected. It's always good to have someone stand by. Ma Speedy, we are not paying for any more milk. We don't need it. Go and sell that milk to someone else. And just to remind whoever is the boss, you have not paid for yesterday's milk. Uh, we're selling it today. We'll pay you at the end of the day. Fine, gentlemen. I wish you all the best with your investment. <laughs> we are headed for the stars. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> okay, I'm serious. Nancy, have you seen my favorite tie? Which one would that be? The one with the lion cards on that my mom bought me for Christmas. <laughs> I've never understood men's fascination with ties. Me neither. Why would you wear something so pointless hanging around your neck? <laughs> <laughs> it's not so much that you want to be constrained by them. It's more that it's the right and proper thing to do. Even if they make us seem foolish or run the risk of being strangled. Nancy, the tie in question. Chest of drawers, top left. Thank you. Huh? <coughs> What's his problem? I have no idea. Why don't you ask him? <laughs> you know, to be honest, uh, I spend more time with you these days than I spend with him. I wouldn't go that far. Please, go. As far as you wish. Now, uh, if you'll excuse me, I need to get to work. Hey, 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 Red. You don't get the point. I don't want to talk to you. What could I possibly have done to offend you? I let you sing at the club. I gave you an audience. You charged entrance fee, and you didn't give me even a single cent. Red, Red, Red. We agreed I wasn't going to pay. That was That the... was the arrangement. Now, if I want to cover my costs, that's my affair. That's business. Oh, enough of this sulking. How would you like to record yourself an album? You lie. No. Yes! Now, Toru! Hey, 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 watch your shirt, watch your shirt, little girl. I am not a little girl. Well, you look like one. And if I'm going to have you sorted out, you need to look a little glamorous, a little grown up. Hmm? Okay. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> you look like you couldn't do with this. Oh, thank you. I did not get much sleep last night. I'm sorry to hear that. Good morning, ladies. Oh, good morning. Amma, you were kept awake dreaming about that man. Not exactly. What is the matter? I thought you had a lot of fun the other day. Mm -hmm. Until my brother-in-law turned up. <laughs> he would be stupid to show his face here. The chief would throw him out of town. The chief? I will throw him out myself. No amount of land will persuade me to leave this place and get married to that horrible man. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Good for you. Because at least I know one other person beside myself would be happy to know that. <laughs> Mama Mboga, you are thought. Leave Mr. Matano out of this. He does not know anything about it. Why do you keep him away from it? I thought you two are very close. There are some things in life that you just don't want to say. I have heard that the Baraka boys have set up a milk bar. I'm going to see it. Kami? Don't you think you're a bit overdressed for the occasion? Ah, this is the new me. I must say there's something about the old you that I preferred. <laughs> you'll get used, my darling. Don't worry, you'll get used. 
I'll join you later. Ah, that will make my day. Hey, Dad. Yes, baby? You know, I want to get deeper into music. Uh, there's this studio boss I'll be meeting. I don't have the dress for it, and I must impress him. Oh, that's very good. You're not giving her any money. Mom, this is very important to me. You want to become a music star, a movie star, or whatever it is that you want to be. You'll have to sweat it out on your own to get there. Rose. Let her get a job and earn her own money. <sighs> Find me at the bookshop if you still plan to join me later. Hey, Yawa, <laughs> you could have given me a heart attack. Come on, you're too young and healthy to be having heart attacks. Sorry if I've scared you. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's only that I don't like surprises. Even nice ones? Nice ones? Uh, I can't remember any nice surprise in my life. Perhaps this is the day, this is the day. The day. You hold your hands and close your eyes. No. Go on. Hey, what if you want to put something horrible in my hands? Why would I want to do that? Uh. Open them. You remember last time when you came for tea with me, you were wearing the same color, so I thought maybe they might blend very well with the colors you like and also your bangles. I saw it and I thought you'd like it. Hey, Yawa, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> it is not my birthday. You don't like it? It is beautiful! I love it! Then let me put it on for you. Hey! Hey, it is beautiful! <laughs> hey! Hero Kamano! <laughs> Thank you! Uh, my pleasure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mr. Mulani, because you are our first customer, you get the executive breakfast milk cantanta free. <laughs> Executive <coughs> breakfast milk cantanta. What is your problem? You think people go to those big hotels to eat things with simple names? Mokimo, Ugali, Gedele, those you can get anywhere. Young man, I am going by my business. I am looking this way and I am seeing you guys are open. And you even have a customer. Oh yes, we are just being creative like you said. The milk cooler could not have arrived so quickly. How are you my friend? Ah, Mr. Mulani. I have decided to be the first to sample what these young people have for us. Hey, hey you're looking very smart. What's the occasion? A uh, change in presentation in preparation for greater things. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh. <gasps> pee, 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 you killed us! I even brought fresh milk this morning, but you refused it. I didn't know the milk was spoiled. But I told you we needed more milk in case for me, emergency. Looks like my free breakfast cantanta is now history. Gentlemen, when your milk cooler arrives, I will make sure you are informed. Now look, Pipi, this is all you're doing. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Don't even ask. I need you to do me a favor. Uh, anything for you. Could you lend me some money? <laughs> Anything but that. Look, I'll pay you back. You know, when I get the studio deal, I'll pay you back. You're going to a studio? Yeah. You know, for me to be taken seriously, I have to dress right. Uh, Red, I wish I could help. But I put all my money into this, and the milk has gotten spoiled, and it's all my fault. Uh, you don't have to give me the whole story. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Albert. Excuse me? Just sit yourself for ten of the terminals. I want to talk to you. Can't it wait? I'm tied up with this stupid machine. Oh, yeah? What's wrong with it? If I know the answer to that, there wouldn't be such a long queue of people waiting to be served. How about I sort them out for you? Will you go on with this? Oh, no, I wouldn't let you do that. Why not? Call it a trial period? What? <laughs> you want to come and work for me? That's the best news I've had all day. Yeah, as long as I can move my shifts around to cover my rehearsals. In exchange for making yourself available when I need to babysit. Done. Deal. I think you and I need to have a word. 
You don't have rehearsals today, do you? I'm all yours. Don't forget to take a lunch break, eh? Hey, that's no way to treat your cousin. If it were up to me, you would not be treated better than a dog. I can't believe I ever fell for you. Well, you did. And the consequence of that needs money for school fees and exercise books. But I gave you money for that already. Yeah, well, maybe I want to feel a little looked after too, huh? I'm not a bottomless beat for cash. That's not my problem. You need to find it from somewhere. Otherwise, your wife gets to find out everything about you and me. Can't you get it from this place? Now, listen. I run this place as an investment with a friend. You might be comfortable robbing from people, but I'm not. Well, there's only one thing left for it, then. Yes, there is. You keep harping on about telling Nancy. Maybe I should do it myself. Now. Margaret, a half change for 500. Uh, let me check for you. Hey, where did you buy this? Which store? I did not buy it. What? Hey, it was a gift. From who I order? <laughs> Mama Mboga. It is only beads. Hey, they could just be beads. But I'm telling you, it is a thought behind it that is valuable. Ah, you know, I, I think Mr. Matano was only trying to be friendly. Hey, Mr. Tano is very sweet on you. And whether you like to believe it or not, I can see the signs from miles away. I can see them. Nancy, there's something I need to tell you. It's a bit too late for that, don't you think? What? Of all the lowdown tricks. Oh, hi, Albert. Mother, what are you doing here? You mean you weren't expecting her? I just came to check on my first grandchild. Surely, you don't mean I need an appointment for that. Of course not, Mother. You're always welcome here. Isn't that so, Nancy? I'm just worried about where to put everyone. Maria is in the spare room. Maria? Maria who? You know Maria, Albert's cousin. But Albert doesn't have a cousin, Maria. What? Yes. Of course he does. <laughs> Nancy, I might be old, but I'm not senile. We do not have a Maria in our family. <laughs> it's true. Then who's been living in our house for the past two weeks? If she's not your cousin, who is she? Albert and I... Or was I speaking to you? My husband owes me an explanation. There's nothing going on between Maria and I. Not anymore. Nancy, it was years ago. I didn't realize you two still kept in touch. I thought you were glad to see the back of her. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> well, you can't blame it on my Albert. He told you that he never wanted to see you anymore. And you started hanging around our house like a bad smell. Hmm. Talk about dignity. She doesn't know the meaning of the word. So, what is she doing here? If she's just an old girlfriend and things ended badly, why did you let her stay in our house? Nancy, I did not know what else to do. I needed to face up to my responsibilities. What are you talking about? Cynthia is his child. What? If that's Albert's child, then I'm queen of Sheba. But if she says... Ah, this girl says a lot of things, including I do to a farmer from the next town. Though he had obviously decided enough is enough. Is that true? What was I supposed to do? After nine years, he just walked out on us. I mean, I can understand him walking out on me, but his own daughter? I wish I'd never gotten married to that pig. Sorry to bother you. I can see you're busy. No, no, no not at all. What is all that paperwork? It all looks like calculations to me. I'll go and leave you to your work. No, it's just scribbles. Nothing important. Well, if you're sure. Please take a seat. Please. 
please, Mr. Matano. I cannot accept this. But I thought you liked it. I like it. It's only that I'm not sure it's me. It was a nice thought, though. Sorry, I should have followed your advice. You boy. I'm trying to ignore you. Please leave me in my sadness. Uh, Baraka Junior, I talked to my wife about your problem today and um, she reminded me about this book. It gives you tips on making yogurt from sour milk. Read it. You might make a fortune after all. Thank you, sir. Philip, this is a very good idea. Your parents must be very proud of you. Why don't you find some time and let's talk about uh, the possibility of you supplying milk to my staff? I'll come, madam. Uh, tomorrow morning, I'm with you for that cantanta. We'll be ready, sir. <laughs> we'll be ready. That's too expensive, sister. Treat us like brothers. When do you think we're going to use cooking oil to make it? Okay, why don't we just change this hairstyle? Uh, no, sister. You've got to look like a star. Very expensive, Red. Are you sure? We are not asking you to send for this woman from America. Just copy from this picture. It's cheaper. Ebu, you guys go and let us do our work. Red, Ebu, you tell them. It seems these guys have just come here to joke. Okay. Guys, don't mind this clown. Ah, Maze, why call customers clowns? Your clowns. Ah, uh, that's enough. We're leaving. You <laughs> go. <laughs> Can't we just stay here? What? Stay out of this, mother. No, Albert. For once, your mother is right. Maria, do you really expect us to keep looking after you after we know you're a liar and a fraud? I was hoping you might look past that. You and I are friends now, Nancy. Nothing needs to change. You come in here, abuse my trust, torment my husband, and you tell me nothing has changed. Get out. But Nancy... Out! Now. Get your things and go. Hey guys, how's it all going? Is that the yogurt book that Mr. Mulani gave you? Yeah, we're struggling through it now. Once we do get in our home science class, maybe if I read the book I could remember some few things. <laughs> yeah. You and your standard age from science. We're businessmen, we don't need that. Okay, if you don't need help. Please, just come and help us. Matano. Hmm? Drunk already? You must be having a very nice time, eh? No, quite the opposite. So, I'm not in fact having a very good time. I'm going to go to the Mabuki bar until things look a bit brighter. Why are you taking this? The footy? There's nothing wrong with it. At least that I can see. You check. Hey, isn't this what you gave to Margaret? Some she does not want to wear it. But it was perfect for her. That's what I thought. But I must have misjudged the situation. What are you up to? We've been to more than 10 homesteads already, and I don't know how many more are left. What's going on? Trying to be friendly to our neighbors, you know. It took you a long time to discover your neighborliness. There he is, Huntington. <laughs> Mr. Jonathan, <laughs> Mrs. Mulani, how are you feeling today? Well, other than the work that my husband has taken me through today, I think I'm doing just fine. We are very impressed with what your boy is up to. You should be proud that he's keen to support himself. In my family, we've always been business-minded people. 
my husband here has just saved them from losing a lot of money on their first day. And I feel it is this sort of problem solving that will win me support in the coming by election. What? Are you standing for councillor? It's time I served my community and I'm counting on your support and votes. Good day, people. When Pippi sees this, he's going to be really shocked. Hey, not Pippi. When that producer you're going to see sees you, he's going to have no chance but to take you on. Yeah, baby. Ben! 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 Do you have to shout like that? Ooh, wait! <laughs> and who is that fly cheek you have over there? You look like a superstar sister. <laughs> I'm going to show it off to Pippi now. Uh, and don't you let him touch it. No, I won't. See you. Bye. 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 Ben, guess what? Your dad gave us a recipe to make money from our sour milk. How'd I look? Smashing as always. Looks like we won't make such a big loss after all. That's good. Anyway, Kara is helping us make the yogurt. You must be busy then. I'll be at the bubbers when you get bored with your yogurt. Okay. There's nothing in there you did not arrive with. Nancy bought me a few things for my daughter. Keep them. My quarrel is not with her. Aren't you forgetting something? Like what? The money you've been taking off me. What? What? It gets worse. I spent it. You can't have. What sort of a mother do you think I am? To ask for money for school fees and then not pay it? Why should we believe you? I, I don't care whether you believe me or not. All I wanted was for Albert to look after me and my daughter for just a short while. I had my dream. I'm sorry for all the heart I've cost you. I really did enjoy our friendship. Friends don't lie to each other like that. And don't come back. Albert, don't be too unkind. Just because Maria was take, take, take when it came to you, doesn't mean that she never gave anything to Nancy. You know, it was kind of nice having a girlfriend around. Someone who's been through the whole baby thing just like I have. You know, you can always talk to me about anything. A shame the reverse ain't true, well, but... You know, I hope there's no next time. But in future, you must promise to tell me the truth. No more secrets. I don't know what is wrong with you. It is obvious that he's put a lot of vote in buying you that bracelet. It didn't seem right to keep it. And why not? If it was me and a young man thought to buy me a bracelet like that, oh, oh I would be very happy. <laughs> hey, that is why you are you and I am me. You know, you are a very strange one, Margaret. Strange? Hey. Strange is that your friend, Mr. Matano? Him with his funny clothes and, and my sabu. I know he's strange but it is what that is inside that matters. Mm. Maybe that is where the problem is. The way I see it, he's a nice man, smart and kind. And that is why you find him funny. There's nothing wrong with him. Then what is the problem? It's just that I can't see myself that way. Margaret, you are a wonderful woman and any man would be lucky to have you. Lucky? Mama Mboga. What is so lucky about getting connected to someone who is HIV positive? HIV does not stop you from being who you are. I pray. I pray that nothing develops between me and Mr. Matan. Does he have a say in this? He will look at me differently. You just wait and see. You know you should look at yourself. Huh? How would you feel when somebody made up your mind for you? That is different. How different? If you like this man and he likes you, I think you owe him the truth. 